and welcome back to another unboxing video this time we have loved again media for our mystery box and uh excited about next month next month we are going to have a brand new unboxing from gg retro that'll be my first box from them but let's get right into this one here typically uh loved again medias are usually a box that i look forward to getting uh every month all right and the first game is a nintendo ds game and it is brain age i have played this game before it is um it can be fun for a couple minutes i mean it is not complete in box uh, i think there usually is a uh, kind of a thick manual that comes with this i mean it's a fun game for a couple minutes just not anything that i would say that's absolutely amazing but it's definitely a uh, a game that does get the brain working and that's the whole intention of it so yeah brain age for the nintendo ds is our first game and it is you don't get too many uh cartridge based games so kind of cool all right the next one is a playstation 2 title it is loose disc and um Simply just says open season, so I want to say this is based on a cartoon uh, slash movie. I don't think I ever, like I know of the movie, but I've never actually watched it. My kids haven't watched it, so I don't know if it's any good. Uh, probably not a game for me, to be honest. Sometimes I like these games, and sometimes, so I'll, I'll let the kids play this, and they can decide uh, whether it will stay in the collection. And uh, honestly, I'll I'll probably play a little bit of it because I'm going to be capturing gameplay footage for this video. So you'll see that. Yeah, so open season. So, so far, okay. I mean, not two games that I'm too thrilled about, but I guess you can't win every game. So the next one is also a loose disc game, and this looks to be an original PlayStation title. And uh, this is actually a really fun game. Uh, really good racing game on the original PlayStation. I'm going to fix the disc here. And uh, does look to be in good shape. And that is Ridge Racer. See if it comes up on there. You get some glare. Ridge Racer for the original PlayStation. I'm actually looking forward to playing this. I do remember playing it as a kid. And uh, did enjoy it. So Ridge Racer by Namco on the original PlayStation. I'd say so far that is the uh, best game that we have here. All right. Now getting into PS3 territory. This is a game that I have gotten many times from this service. And uh, own a few copies of it. So it will not be staying in the collection. However, this one is not in the best of condition. It looks like it may have some water damage on the uh, case itself. And it is Little Big Planet Game of the Year Edition. So uh, I believe everything is on the disc. So it's good to buy this game used if you're into Little Big Planet and you want to get all the DLC stuff. And uh, it does have the manual. So it is complete. It's just a little dirty. That This game, honestly, it will end up on my uh, eBay store. So uh, I'm going to be putting it up it's not up yet but i'm going to be making a couple of lots because i'm going to be selling uh what i've basically been doing is with a lot of these games i sell them in bulk now so you get like a whole lot of of these games as opposed to selling them individually it's just with ebay fees and shipping it's just not worth sell selling them individually so i just bulk sell them now all right the next game is a nintendo wii game and i do know that i own this game however this may be a upgrade as far as the case and condition goes because I want to say my copy is not in the original case. And that is Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Actually looks really cool on the uh, Wii case here. And uh, I have not played it yet for the Wii except for what I'm going to capture for uh, gameplay footage. And it is not complete in box, but I want to say my my other copy may have the manual. So this, either way, it may be a little bit of an upgrade. So we'll see. Otherwise, it's one of the copies is going to end up on the eBay store. And uh, I I have played this game on other consoles, other versions of this game, and I enjoyed it. So looking forward to actually one day playing it on the Wii. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this Wii version may be based on the PS2 version. 
uh, which is actually considered the definitive way to play this game, believe it or not. All right. The next title is also on the Wii, and I can't remember if I actually own this game or not. Um, maybe I own it for a different console, but not the Wii. And that is Blazing Angels. And believe it or not, sometimes these games can be lots of fun. It does feel a little bit on the uh, heavier side. So it is in complete condition there. Pretty nice condition. So this is, I would say this is a win. Uh, because like I said, I may own it, but it may be for a different um, console. And uh, I'm always interested in getting the Wii versions of, of games that are multi-platform because I always like to see what the major differences are between the two. Sometimes they are completely different games. Sometimes they're just graphical downgrades. So pretty cool. Blazing Angels. So, so far, two games that I enjoy. All right. The next game is a, another Wii title. And uh, hopefully this whole box isn't just Wii. And... Um, yeah, I'm not going to say I'm a fan of this game. It is a game show, uh, deal or no deal. I'm sure there's some fun to have. I just, I never really watched the the TV show. I uh, was never really a fan of it. So no offense to any of you out there. It is complete in box as expected. Usually these games are always complete in box and usually in, in good condition as well. Uh, deal or no deal for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, so, so far we got uh, quite a bit of Wii titles and it doesn't look like it's going to stop there with the Wii. And uh, we have a hunting game for the Nintendo Wii. And this is Remington Super Slam Hunting Africa. And, you know, I'll have to check up, up on the value on this one because sometimes these hunting games on the Wii um, can actually be worth a little bit of money. Not a ton, but sometimes they can be fun too. Uh, it looks like the uh, the artwork is actually all there, but it's they didn't actually put it in the case. Oh no! So what they did is this is actually the manual. So they put the manual in the front of the uh, cover case here. So interesting. And uh, one to four players, kind of cool. I'm actually interested in checking this one out. Uh, this may be something to play with the kids. Well, maybe not. Maybe they get traumatized. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, not a not a bad game to get in a box like this. I would say I, I'm enjoy that over deal versus no deal there. All right, and it looks like we have another Wii title here, and it is a Lego game. Uh, this isn't bad. I actually think that we can have some good fun with this one here. It is a two-player Lego game, and it is Pirates of the Caribbean. It looks like to be based on the original. Now, to be honest, my kids don't know anything about this movie. I feel like this is a franchise that was really, really big at one point, and then it kind of just died off. Um, so I feel like the younger generations don't know much about uh, Pirates of the Caribbean now. And uh, it doesn't feel like it was that long ago that those movies came out, but it really has been. And it is a uh, complete in box as well. So yeah, I'm going to put this one in the win column. Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, Lego games are usually pretty fun. Especially if you can get somebody else to play with you. Uh, my thing with Lego games is they're always fun in the beginning. But then they get, I don't know, I get bored of them. So I don't know that I've ever actually have completed any of these Lego games. Because I have so much fun with them in the beginning. And then I just get to a point where I'm like, oh man, I'm tired of playing this. Um, you let me know if I'm, if that's just me or if you kind of feel the same way about it. So we are down to our last two games. Hopefully they are not, uh, all Wii games. So, nope, we have an Xbox 360 title. However, I've gotten this game, I don't know, three or four times now, maybe from the same vendor. So it is Bioshock Infinite. I mean, it's a good game. It's going to end up on my eBay store because I have, couple of copies of this now that i've received and uh yeah it's if you like the bioshock series one two and then this one here it is complete in box it looks like i mean it's it's a good game you know don't get me wrong it's just i i own it already and uh it'll end up on the ebay store it is kind of grimy so case needs a good wipe down 
Uh, but yeah, that'll be on the eBay store. Bioshock Infinite. And uh, there is one last game, but I'm going to kind of separate what I think are wins. And uh, what are not wins for me. Then we'll, uh, we'll get to the last game in the box. All right. So the last game in the box is an original Xbox title. And uh, uh, it's actually pretty cool to get this in this type of box. But I do own this already. Actually got it thrifting a long time ago now. But this is another pretty cool game. And it is Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. And it does feel a little bit on the heavier side here. Nope, it is actually not complete in box. So uh, sometimes dupes are okay because it can sometimes be an upgrade. But the copy that I have is complete in box. And is in a little bit better condition than this. Um, so it being a dupe, I'm going to put it in the loss column. So we'll see what we got in the loss column versus the win column. So this is what I consider a loss, either because it's games that I'm not interested in, or some of them are dupes like Star Wars and Prince of Persia, the and Little Big Planet as well, as well as Bioshock Infinite, and then the rest there are just games that I'm not interested in. These games here will most likely stay in the collection. We have our hunting game, Pirates of the Caribbean, Lego, Blazing Angels, and of course, Ridge Racer, which I'm actually, is going to be the game that I pick out of this whole uh, box because I think it's going to be the most fun. So Ridge Racer, you let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite game out of this box? Am I being too harsh on it? Um, I don't think so. Although to be honest, for the price that I pay for this box with free shipping, I, I can't complain. It's 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 a box that's probably going to stay in the rotation for a long, long time. Um, unless I start getting multiple boxes that are just complete garbage. Uh, but this one, I'm going to give it a so-so eh, a pass. Um, there's really, really one game here that I'm really excited for. The rest, um, not so much. So eh, it's going to be borderline bad box, I would say. Uh, and if I didn't have so many of these as dupes, it would have had a better rating. But uh, the vast majority of the L column is uh, games that I already own. So that is kind of the risk reward that you get with this particular service because they don't track what games you have and what games that they sent you. So you let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite game. And uh, if you get this service, let me know so that I can go and watch your video and I'll comment there as well. So as always, be sure to hit that like, subscribe button because it does help a growing channel such as this. And as always, happy gaming and God bless. And for my U.S. viewers, if I don't see you before then, you have a fantastic Thanksgiving. And uh, make sure you spend some good time with friends and family. And um, for all my other viewers, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you real soon. God bless.